Hi there Pimble fans, welcome back to the Majestic Pimble Restorations YouTube channel. This is James, I am here in my brand new workshop to bring to you as many pimple machines as I possibly can and explain to you the rules and how to play them and share some tips and tricks uh, along the way. Today we have such a special machine, I feel like I say that every single time, but today we have Bally's Transporter The Rescue which was released in 1989 and they only made 859 of these machines, which means it is kind of rare. Artwork is pretty crazy. You've got a terrifying <laughs> three-headed, three-mouthed monster thing in the middle of the playfield. The back glass is pretty whack as well. So anyway, let's do some flyovers of the playfield, show you the funky art um, and the terrifying alien. And then we shall crack on with how to play Bally's absolutely terrifying transporter, The Rescue. So this comes from an era where Bally used to love doing jackpots that would um, carry over from game to game. So during multiball, the machine wouldn't just give you endless jackpots over and over again, it actually made you work for them. And therefore, it was quite uncommon to get a jackpot. So on the back glass, they would have like a sort of step ladder um, jackpot meter thing. Um, and quite a few games had this. So if um, you didn't score a jackpot during your game, or I think it was like a couple of games or whatever, it would it would eventually just fill up the meter. So it would go from like one million to like a million and a half, then to two million kind of thing. And it would slowly build up and build up, which would try and encourage players to uh, play the machine more as the jackpots were getting higher and higher. So this is one of those machines. The main focus of the machine is to get multiple and then to try and get the jackpot. When you plunge the ball, it will go all around up to the top and it goes up to the top lanes, which spell out SOS. As with most pinball machines, if you roll through each of those lanes, you will score a bonus multiplier. This game as well also lights up the center lane for um, an extra ball. So you have two banks of drop targets. You have three on this side, which spell out R, E and S. And then you have the three in the middle, which spell C, U and E to spell out rescue. Shooting down all of those targets would light a lock, which is at the main ramp as you go up and it'll go back into the spaceship. Then you just need to spell out rescue again and it will light lock two. And then you do that again. And then the machine will ramp up the music, it gets super intense, um, it sounds great. And it will tell you to shoot for the transporter to start multiball. Now it's quite a hard shot to see, but the transporter is this tiny little light here that just says multiball. It's a super weird shot underneath this upper play field that kind of just feeds in and then it comes out the spaceship. So as soon as you hit that, multiball will start and all the balls will come to this flipper. Now a great tip for this is to hold the flipper up and it can kind of cradle the ball there, which gives you a little bit more time to bang it around this awesome ramp. Every time you spin round in the transporter, it gives you a little bit of credit towards the uh, acceleration target. Now the accelerator target value is displayed on the back glass. It starts at 10,000 and then you can build it all the way up to a million. Sorry, I just had to see it. <laughs> I had to wait for it to flash on the back glass so I could actually see what the values were. <laughs> Starts at 10,000, goes up to a million. Every single time you bang around that whirlpool, it increases the value. You can also add to the accelerator value by rolling down the lit in lanes. You have a target here, it's really hard to see. Um, it does light up. That's the accelerator target. Once you've gone around the transporter whirlpool enough times, um, it will light the target and then you just bang the target. Sometimes it gives you a million if that's what the back glass says. Sometimes it just gives you a random amount. I've not quite figured that bit out yet, so perhaps we can understand that a little bit more after playing the game. Should probably mention the jackpot, actually. That might be interesting to know. So during multi-ball, the uh, drop targets will all pop back up and you need to spell out rescue in order. That sounds kind of easy during the mayhem of like multiple and balls are flying around. It's super difficult. I've only done it once so far while testing the machine. It, it just seems really hard to do. But if you hit a target out of sequence, they'll all pop back up and then you have to try and shoot the one that's next in the chain. So that's a little bit tricky. Maybe we can do it in the video. That'd be kind of cool. But anyway, let us start a game of Bally's Transporter. <laughs>
15,000. Somehow got the transport up to 200,000 and then claimed it uh, while locking a ball. Um, I'm not 100% familiar with the values of the, the transport and the accelerator target. Um, it seems a bit, a bit odd to me, but um, who cares? Give me points. Beta is locked too, so second ball's ready to lock on the ramp. Okay, so the transporter value is now up at 300,000. is where you are claiming the, uh, the accelerator target value. So we cash in the 300,000. Thing that I love about this is every time you lock a ball the music gets more and more intense. Um, builds up a great atmosphere. So now it wants us to shoot for the uh, transporter so we want to go for the scoop underneath there. So there was a lot going on there, which I will try and explain. So uh, we did like any letters for multiple, which was absolutely stunning. Um, we also maxed out the transporter, and you might have heard it go beam me up, Bally, um, which I'm not quite sure. That's ripping off. I don't know if any of you guys might know. <laughs> um, but when it does that, it means you've maxed out the transporter, and it's at 100. Uh, sorry, 1 million. Um, so you want to try and hit the uh, accelerator target. That doesn't last for very long. It will then half and go back to uh, half a million. Um, which I cashed that in. So now the transporter value, sorry, the accelerator target value has gone back down to 40,000. Um, it's hard to show you this because it's all on the back glass. Um, so if you're playing one in person, just keep an eye on the back glass and you'll know what's going on.
So we've got a free game. And we've also lit lock one. So that's ready to go at the ramp. Oh. <laughs> that was good. And then you have it, that was Bally's Transport to the Rescue from way back in 1989. As always, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't, as it really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, I shall look forward to seeing you in the next video.